Let's call in Bobby the Brain Heenan. He's got double trouble brewing in San Francisco the 17th. You know, I don't know where you get them cliches, pal. I don't have double trouble brewing. Putsky's got some trouble that night, and so does Wells. Let's put it that way. Now, Ivan Polish Power Putsky is a great wrestling athlete. Absolutely. What a great wrestling maneuvers he does. Hmm. Like the double punch. Hmm. That's a great wrestling maneuver, isn't it? Putsky. It's strong. Yes, it is, especially in this time of year. Putsky, you are a complete imbecile. Now, you want to get into that ring and you want to match wrestling ability with the link? I'll be flat honest with you. The link has no wrestling ability. What does he have? He has whatever he wants to have. He's got Putsky's number. He rips and tears and hurts people. I don't care if he suplexes, arm drags, goes for a spin told. means nothing to me. I want to make my presence known, and I want people hurt, and the link's going to do it. Now, George Studd and John Wells, I mean, uh, John Studd and big George Wells played Canadian football, right? Right. Tough man. Oh, is he ever. He played end guard and tackle. Did you notice that? In, what do you mean, end he guard and tackle? At the end of the bench, and he guarded the water bucket, and he tackled anybody that came near it. Oh, my. Now, if you were so tough and such a great player, why didn't you play for the 49ers? Well, he kind of did. Canadian ball is kind of like 49ers. In what way? It's Sandlot. So, Mr. Wells, you get in that ring. You can pick up $15,000, and all you got to do is pick up John Studd. Now, George Wells is from Oakland. Right. Can you imagine him on a shopping spree with $15,000? Now, let's hypothetically say he picks him up and slams him. Right. And he gets $15,000. He'll probably go to the best restaurants. Probably. He'll probably the best drive-in windows. He'll probably go to the best haberdasheries, buy some of the nicest-looking T-shirts with a number on the back with his name on them. Probably get some dynamite-looking sneakers and probably show up completely lost with a road map and don't know where he's at. Wells, forget it. You're a loser. Putsky's a loser. And everybody that stands in the way of the Bobby Heenan family is a loser. But, sir, the 49ers won the Super Bowl. Who'd they be? Oh, well, I, I, don't forget the 17th. Cow Pal.